Hello, welcome to this video for the Citroen Dispatch. This is the nine seater version, it's a two liter HDI. Just gonna walk around it once for you and then go close up to the inside, outside, wheels, tires, engine bay, roof lining, seats, under the seats. I'm gonna cover every little inch of this vehicle. So it's the Dispatch, it's the uh, 58 reg, so it's the late 2008 registered. Very low mileage for the year, just 83,000 miles, uh, two keepers and full service history, as in fully documented as well. So let's start this corner, check out the conditions. Has got the uh, front parking sensors, as you can see. The plastic light covers are nice not damaged in any way shape or form there's no major stone chipping on the uh, front of the vehicle the bonnet's nice there's no major stone chipping on there or dents the windscreen the windscreen's very good condition it is the uh, it is the one that's got the uh, solar retaining, is it? Where it reflects the UV. As you can see, it's got like light tint of greeny blue. So there's no stone chips, there's no cracks. As you've seen from the photos already, the wheels are in good condition. They're not immaculate, but they're in good condition. However, the tyres are recent. They're the Michelin's, the Premacy 4. So they are the top of the range tyre, 21560, 16. I don't know if you can see the treads, it's a bit dark down here. Yeah, you're probably better off looking at the uh, photos on the advert. We've got 100 photos. Back to the wing mirror, they're very clean. No scratching whatsoever. Uh, I must add that these are the electric folding ones, so when you press the alarm button, it will fold, the mirrors will fold. Uh, up here, the roof, as you can see, in very good condition. No roof rack or anything like that, so there's no damage up there. All the uh, plastic trims here are immaculate, there's no scratches on them at all. The sill. It's a nice condition, there's no rusting going on or paint flaking, no tar spots, so immaculate. That door's nice, obviously on all large vehicles like vans etc, this is the corner you want to be looking at. So this side is the corner, left turn, where they catch a gate post or a wall, this is what you want to be looking at. Obviously as you can see, there's absolutely nothing on this at all whatsoever, all the panels line up. The gaps are all nice. There's nothing suspect whatsoever there. Obviously, with it being silver as well, that's the uh, that's the diesel filling cap there. With it being silver as well, silver is very very difficult to uh, to paint uh, for the uh, paint shop people because it's hard to match up. As you can see, that stand back, you can see there's no different shades going on there. All the same shading. It's got the uh, privacy glass pack in the rear, that was an extra as well. So the uh, rear glass is dark, uh, tinted factory as well. This bumper corner here, totally unmarked. We've got the uh, reverse sensor there and there. The light's nice, there's no cracks in that. All the way up here, nothing on there. The back, no dents in the tailgate whatsoever. No marking, everything's intact. Even down to the grab handle there, totally immaculate. This is where it's from, it's from Portsmouth originally, from the Citroen dealer in Portsmouth. This light here as well, totally immaculate. No cracking, no knocks, no bangs. Same on this corner, same on this here as well. There's no scratches, nothing's been dragged in and out of here. No large suitcases, etc.
Oh, we can see the tyres here. The tyres. Wing mirror, very nice. Okay, let's start from the rear. So, the rear of this van, this is how you open it from here. Just pull that there. These uh, struts work as well. So, they're there, they're not saggy or anything like that, they just pop straight up. Uh, the underside here, very clean, no scratching whatsoever. Nothing's been rolling around in the boot, damaging that panel there. It's got the original pull cord there as well. All the rubbers are nice, there's no wear on the rubber whatsoever there. A few light scratches on this panel here as you can see, as you'd expect. There's a spare wheel under here, so that's how you wind down the spare wheel under that flap there. Okay, uh, the plastics here, very nice. No major scratching going on here, or this side. There's 12 volt there. For the car boot carpet's nice and clean doesn't smell of dogs doesn't smell of smoke either right the backs of these panels here so a few of these seats are actually new items what i mean by is that uh, <clears throat> i think there's two or three i think three seats or maybe four four of these are actually new items meaning they were they were picked up from a, uh, a wheelchair access vehicle company which take these seats out and just put them in their storeroom, the garage. So that's what happened. So I think that one's a new one there. Uh, and so are those two and the front one there. So we've got some spare parts. See these plastic uh, rears on these seats there? That one's got the drinks holder in. If you come over here, <coughs> this vehicle will come with these here. These are the spare ones, which are in good condition. Uh, so the last owner included those in the, uh, in the boot. So they will go back in the boot. This is the original stereo. So this is the original factory stereo, however this one is the upgraded Pioneer one, as you can see it's um, it's very, 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 uh, shall I say, uh, nice and uh, got all the latest stuff, as you can see, so Bluetooth, etc, DAB, iPhone, connect, everything. <coughs> so that comes now with that. Uh, the roof lining, as you can see, immaculate. No scratches, no scuffs, no dirty marks, no dirty fingerprints, nothing. Same with the glass on the inside, all the glass is immaculate. There's no scratches on the glass, on the window tinting. Uh, all the headrests are present. So that's important to look for when you're buying one of these. Make sure the headrests are all there. Some are missing. Um, so this is actually one of the best condition 58 readies I've seen for a long time. So let's just close this boot. Let's go to this side then. Let's go to this side. Start from the front door. As you can see, very clean. This front seat here, absolutely immaculate. No wear and tear whatsoever. Uh, the dashboard here, I've got a very few, very, very minor light scratches there to report. That is it. That is it. So if you are particular, if you are one of those that comes with magnifying glass, I've showed you what I found here. Okay? So I don't want you coming and saying, listen, I didn't see that. But yeah, I've just showed it you. Okay? So it's got the uh, car mat there, which are a very rare item apparently. Not many places sell these. As you can see, not bad condition. A few very light. Um, as you see there, very light scratches there. Otherwise, everything else is very clean. The door shuts are very clean. The door cards are immaculate on all doors, as you can see. And very clean. Open this sliding door. That clicks in nicely as well, it locks in. So, you know, like on some of these, the lock's worn and you push it back and the door shuts again because it's worn. So none of that going on here. All this is clean here. The doors, as you can see, 
all this is nice there's no damage on that sill at all no scratching on that plastic the carpet set is there the original carpet set uh, backs of the seats are very clean no holes no tears no rips no scuffs at all there so very clean middle seat that seat there obviously they're just finger marks if I just brush that away and see it change again so that's all that is it's the finger marks it's all they're all the all the cloth pile should we say is nice and uh, fluffy that's the word right okay so I pull that lever this seat drops down so you can clamber over here to get into the bike we've got the three seats as we've seen very good condition the carpet set down here so excuse it's a little bit dark there's nothing I can do uh, there's little drinks holders there same on that side everything's clean that's about it plenty of good leg room and all this is clean down here as well close that door before we go any further just I'm gonna show you this is the boot release sorry boot bonnet catch sorry so as you can see that's the bonnet catch there and you pull that lever and that opens the bonnet so it's in a very strange place I'm gonna pull that now because I'm gonna go and finish the uh, show you under the bonnet last so go to this back door here, slide this back door open. That locks in place like the other one, so that's not gonna come back on me. All this is clean, as you'd expect. On this one, there's a few slight scratches there, for some reason. Not bad, but it's there. Uh, this um, sill's nice, this plastic's nice. No major scratching going on there back of this seat close up and this seat close up as well no cigarette burns no dogs have been scratching around nothing like that pull this lever here that lever there pull that and the seat drops forward like and so back to this side everything's nice and clean it's a 12 volt there as well for the kids for the uh, phone charging so that's this side done all down there is clean. Okay, slide that door shut. There we go, shuts perfectly. So I have this door. Start from the top here. No damage. All nice and clean. Door card. No damage. Very tidy. Velour, should we say it's, it is velour? They call it velour. That's the cloth. Plastic very clean as you can see no biscuit crumbs or crisp or sticky sweets in this one all that's nice and clean that's quite probably the best conditioned door sill in the vehicle so that's the driver's one so this has got a uh, this seat is really nice for the con condition for the mileage 83,000 miles not in bad condition at all a little bit of uh, movement going on there, should we say. That's the bolster that sticks up. A little bit of, not bad, just a bit, uh, how should we say, a bit creased, that's the word. A bit creased, that's all. It's got the uh, drinks holder there. It's got the cubby hole here as well. The air vents. That's the uh, foot pedals there, the carpets there. inside here ah this is nice so we've got here we've got let me just close the windows so we've got this special steering wheel this is actually off a ds um so it's a really nice expensive sport steering wheel it's uh leather trimmed as you can see the stitch in there uh, it's got the ds logo which is the uh the how should we say the prestige um branding of citroen a bit like Lexus for Toyota, yeah? So this is what DS means, okay? DS Automobiles, they call it. Uh, it's flat bottoms, as you can see, so very sporty. Uh, and it really finishes it off. It really does look good, as you can see. It uh, brings a little bit of a sex appeal, should I say. So here we have this uh, Pioneer head unit, which has got this amazing mobile phone holder here. So as you can see, 
it, it stretches and it actually slides back in. So to do this, let's uh, pop the front off, so press that, the front comes off, like, wait a minute, it did do, I might need to have two hands with this one because I'm struggling. and then push it again. Oh, it caught me now, hasn't it? I'm going to put this camera down for one second, excuse me. That's it. Needed two hands to do it. So that pulls out, that, uh, that Pioneer pulls out and then this here, what you do here is you can put it straight like this, push it in. That pushes in and hides itself there. So this very clever that's the phone holder then obviously sure enough power comes back on and it's there so it's got all these fancy buttons like voice command sat nav uh, that's the what's that press that connect app that's the device list whatever you've got there uh, also that's a connect app not a sat nav sorry this is the voice command uh, your music as well the radio so the radio works I turn the volume down do you know what? I don't even know how to turn the volume down here. That's it. That's the volume. Okay, so down here you've got your climate control. So it's digital climate control, dual zone. Let's switch it on here. Press that. As you can see, you've got left and right temperature settings uh, and your directions, etc. Your auto, your aircon button, etc. The aircon does work. I hear the compressor clicking in and out. It does work, although we don't need it at this time of the year. It's only about 14 degrees. Uh, so yeah, so the mileage here is 83,125, uh, the vehicle is not going to go anywhere now, so it's going to stay here, it is automatic lights as well there, as you can see, and the all important through here, cruise control, so when you're driving a vehicle like this, no doubt you're going to be doing some motorway driving. Uh, you've got the steering wheel control for the radio, however, this does not work with the Pioneer. So that Pioneer's been uh, fitted, that's obviously aftermarket. So if you put the original back in, you can have the volume control there. But why would you want to put the original back in? So this has got the Bluetooth, it's got the DAB as well. So up here you've got the DAB aerial here, that's the little DAB aerial. And then you've got the microphone there for the Bluetooth. So yes, yeah, so it's all wired up, ready to go. Um, you can see you've got a computer up here as well which has worked off the stalk here so when we press this button on the stalk here you can see things change miles per gallon uh, miles distance on the trip trip so the last trip zeroed was 6200 miles ago <clears throat> so and then you've got 29 miles per gallon based on the last journey uh, 21 miles per hour average speed uh, the date there and the distance so 230 miles so we always like to sell vehicles with some diesel or fuel in as you can see there it's just got over a quarter of a tank which is registering 230 miles so very economical this because it's got the six speed gearbox as you can see six speed so six speed manual the gate is in good condition there's no wear and tear around there at all there's no dirty chewing gum or cigarette burns there it's got this uh, ashtray here it's got the 12 volt as well there in here, <coughs> let's have a look at the service. So we've got the booklet here, we've got a spare key. You've got to remember that these cars or these vehicles, vans, don't come with two remote control keys. It comes with one remote control key, which is fully working order, and it comes with one manual key. So that's the manual key, and there is the remote control one, okay? And then what we've got here, we've got the, everything's here, the log book, uh, the service book as well, um, etc. So everything's here. There we go, so number of keepers, one former keeper. Okay, and if we look on here, that's when it was registered, 15th of December. So very late 2008, so almost 2009, just 15, 16 days of that. Uh, it's the dispatch, it's the HDI 120, uh, so that's 120 brake. Uh, it's the 198 GKM, it's a two litre, silver, everything's here. So it says, uh, it's all, it's all good. So we've got the service book and the manual here as well. Um, so if we look here about the service, services. So this was serviced uh, from the first one. It was up at uh, 
here we go, 19,000 miles, 40,000 miles, oh sorry, 36, so it goes 19, 36, 40, 45, 51, 56, 61 with a timing belt as well. So it's also got the sticker under the bonnet which tells you it's had the timing belt kit fitted at 61,000 miles in 2018 I think that says. Uh, and then 2019, 66, the same, so it's the same garage. Uh, first two was one garage and then all these six, so up to eight there. Uh, and then we've got another three services here. Uh, 72, 77, 75. Now, these two haven't got stamps, but they've got the invoices. Obviously, the garage that did it forgot to uh, obviously stamp, or the, the book was not in the uh, vehicle at the time. So, the last one was oil service at 24th of the 8th, was an oil service at 77,500. So, it's covered, uh, oh, just under 5,000 miles in the last few months. So it has been used. Um, so this has also had a turbocharger replaced. The turbocharger itself was there, the price is there, 500 pounds, replaced turbocharger, okay? So a brand new turbocharger, that was at 77,000 miles. Okay, MOT, which has been done. So he said he wanted tires at 75,000 miles, which was in April. April the 12th, he said all the tyres were ready, cracking, so they put four brand new Michelin Premise 4 tyres on, which you can see clearly. Uh, some suspension parts there, recently done. Wishbone at 76,000 miles. Uh, then another one here, uh, what, what's this, 78,000 miles, so oh, this was... This was 78 and it says code read, replace fuel filter, uh, check, ah, wheel bearing. So wheel bearing, hub sensors, fuel filter, everything was that was there. another 454 pounds. Then we've got another one here. What date was this one? This was 75,000 miles again. This was carried out, uh, safety check, change oil and filter. Uh, ribbed fan belt as well, freed off spare tyre as well, so that's good. So spare tyre at the back's been freed off, because usually those brackets seize up, obviously with all the years just sat there doing nothing, so that's good. So if you have a puncher, you can get that tyre off freely. Uh, as you can see, the parts there, oil filter, sample, multi-V belt, pollen belt, flange, all done as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Another one, another one, when was this one for? 75,000 miles? Uh, front brake disc and pads, so uh, check for wheel bearing noise, found disc in a surface uh, was obviously not good, so brand new front brake disc and pads, they've charged them and, well, just shy of 190 pounds. So it's all by the same garage, which was, um, it's, a, it's a VW specialist garage this one, it's done all the work. Uh, and then some more bills here for sundries, etc, a bill there for something. So yeah, all the bills are there. So it's obviously been looked after, without a doubt. So in the last few months, including, I think from about April onwards, since the MOT, uh, including tyres, there's been just over £1,600 spent on this vehicle. So, very good. So I'm just gonna, lastly, show you underneath the, oh, almost forgot. So this has got front and rear parking sensors. So if I put it into reverse, like so, it beeps. Okay, and then also, it's telling me, okay, so it's got front and rear, and it's also got a switch down here to switch on and off the parking sensors. That's a switch. So it's got, it, I think there must be aftermarket. There must be aftermarket parking sensors. So there's a switch there. Um, I'm going to open the bonnet so you can see everything under there. As you can hear, the engine sounds very sweet, no tapping noises, nothing squeaking. The antifreeze is nice and clean. Uh, it's got the sticker there, the timing belt there, it says 2018, January 2018, at 61,129 miles. Everything under here is nice and clean. Even screen wash 
is topped up to the brim and bright blue. Okay, so just drop the bonnet again. Yeah, even the uh, tow eye mechanism is there, that's where it sits. And then uh, we've got here the bonnet, nice and clean, no rust. Drop that. Just walk around the vehicle once more and we're done. Wow, this must be the longest video I've done. This says 25 minutes and counting. So if you're still watching this, I think you're coming to buy it. And if you don't buy it, there must be something wrong with you. So all I can say on this vehicle is if you're a perfectionist, I would personally have the wheels refurbished and that is it. That's all you need to do with this vehicle. Thanks for watching. Please get in touch if you've got a part exchange or you'd like finance. We can finance this vehicle. This vehicle also come with 12 months warranty as well. With a warranty company called Warranty Assist, our providers. It covers for parts and labour. Uh, so parts and labour, a garage near to your home, closest to your home. So in the event anything should go wrong, uh, first of all, you contact the warranty company. They will direct you to the closest Citroen specialist garage. They will diagnose the fault where you have to pay the uh, 30 minutes or one hour diagnostics fee usually around 50 pound plus VAT uh, you will get that back if the fault is classed as sudden mechanical failure and that's what happens that's the warranty that's how that works uh, and that's pretty much it so you don't have to drive up and down the country back to us because many many places that sell vehicles will say come back to us and we'll sort it but you know if you live 100 or 200 miles away it's 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 a journey how are you supposed to do that so yeah so peace of mind we've got the warranty company to assist you in any sudden major mechanical failures that's the terms of the policy it's there to assist you at anything that should break down which shouldn't break down uh, not wear and tear so tires batteries exhaust that kind of things are wear and tear so thanks for watching, uh, get in touch and see you soon.